Welcome to part six of my Commissioner's Tools training. This is specifically for council and district commissioners and it is administration of commissioners and units. Now from your dashboard, you will go into administration and first we'll go with unit admin. It'll give you a list of the units. Right now I am specifically looking at one district. However, if you're a council commissioner, you can change your organization level, go to council, and it'll give you your entire council list as well. I find it easier to work district by district though. You'll select the units you want. So if, say for example, we want to assign these three units. I can click assign to, and it'll show me the units that, I, the commissioners that are currently assigned to those units, if any. If I need to assign them to anybody, I can select that commissioner and click on assign. If I need to assign them to myself, I can click on assign to me and then click assign. At that point, it will assign those units to myself or the commissioner that I select. I do already have these units assigned to a commissioner, so I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to close it out. Another good way of filtering is currently it's showing all units. You can change it to show units not assigned or units assigned as well to help filter your list if you're trying to get more units assigned or figure out who's left. Additionally, you have your commissioner admin. It will show you the list of commissioners in your district, or again, if you are on the council level, it will show you all commissioners in your council, and this is inclusive of unit commissioners, roundtable commissioners, assistant district commissioners, district commissioners, assistant council commissioners, and yourself as a council commissioner, or whatever level you are looking at. With this, I can select a commissioner, click on assign to, specify a program type, and then I can assign multiple units to that one commissioner this way as well. I can even do multiple unit types. I have no ships, crews, or posts in this district, so that will not, not populate anything. But as you can see, I have four units selected. I could easily click assign and assign all those to this one unit commissioner. However, again, she already has her units assigned and these units have been assigned to other commissioners, so I'm not going to save it. Additionally, if you click into each commissioner, You'll be able to see, just like your own personal profile, you'll be able to see their profile if you have the access as a district commissioner, assistant district commissioner, assistant council commissioner, or council commissioner. You'll see their primary position, and you can see all positions once you click on view their positions, their district, last contact, if any, assigned number of assigned units, and you can see which units have been assigned. And then there's simple and detailed assessments throughout the years um, throughout the year, as well as their history going back a couple of years. Well, that concludes administration for district and council commissioners. Please come back for segment seven on reporting.